Uh, speaking of going, where are we going? I don't know. Uh, let's just try and get a bit of distance from these guys. Why don't we head to the ice thing and refuel? See how much it's got when we get back. Oh, the um, ice, ice baby. Evaporator thing. Yeah. Okay. Ice, ice baby. Let's get us some ice. Wonder how much ice is refilled while we were gone. Yeah, um, hopefully it's produced a little bit. I was thinking, since we don't really have a heading at the moment, maybe the valid option for us would be to uh, grab the ice and maybe travel off from there a couple of k's and just sort out the stuff that's on the back of this truck. Okay. So I'm not sure how comfortable I am driving around like this. I guess we want to try to find somewhere that's got some cover. Yeah. And maybe we want to head head into the hills. Uh, back where we dropped. Um, I'm thinking those hills. Well, over to the uh, to the north. Yeah. I think that's where it's... we dropped, wasn't it? I don't know. You know my sense of direction. Do you remember? to put ammunition in that in the gun turret ah uh, yes we have yeah we have I'm gonna forget that so many times I think it was worth checking I wonder how long I can keep adding bits to this thing without repainting any of it accidentally kind of like the idea of the Don Goose being all different paints and colours and things Yeah, I'm trying to patch this one up with different colors so it looks prepared. prepared. Yeah, it's kind of a cool way to build, isn't it? Mm -hmm. At some point we may need to do... I may need to do a full redesign of the crane on this thing, but it's been working okay so far. Uh, pleasant sunset drive. Is it sunset or is it morning? I've completely lost track of time. Uh, come back. It all blends together out Come here back. in the desert. Huh? What? Uh, north, northeast. North, north, east. You see that? East. Oh, something in the sky. Yeah. It's like one of those airships we saw before. Yeah. Just a camera. Uh, I think my truck's got a reverse camera on it. Just wanted to. Oh. North, northeast. Oh, I can't see it anymore, and this thing is. This thing bobs around like crazy. We really need to finish off that turret controller and set this thing up properly. This old control system's a bit broken. Ooh. Blanchard claim. Or is it Blankard? Blanchard? Blankard. Blankard? Yep. <laughs> like, it's like a hard white color. Blanc. There is 142 ice. Okay. Uh, well, I guess Capac's taking that. Uh, with the blank, with the blank hard <laughs> claim being in that direction, should we head that way? Uh, we could go scope that out. Uh, or we could head for the hills and find a crevice to hide in. Uh, should we crevice and then kind of consolidate to one vehicle? for investigating stuff. Uh, okay. That sounds like a good plan. Do you feel like this is good enough? We're a bit exposed from above, but from the dunes, it'll be pretty tough to spot us. Yeah. Like that that thing that's still flying up there is obviously could spot us, but I don't think there's much we can do about that. Although, this thing's 
a bit camouflaged, so if I park it over near the rocks here, it'll blend in a bit. Yep. So, let's just um, take a bit of inventory of what we've got and see what we should change about how we've got stuff arranged. Uh, bring it back down the hill, just you can park up there when we leave. Um, just bring it down near the dongoose. I think it's going to be next to impossible to get a replacement hydrogen tank in this gap where there used to be one. Which bit? Uh, in this sort of side pod here, there was a hydrogen tank. Oh, did it get destroyed at some point? Yep. Uh, yeah, our repairs are pretty limited with the suits acting all weird. Like, have you noticed that there's even more missing since I last checked? Uh, try not to think about it. So, alright. What do we have and what do we want? I think that's where uh, we should start. Well, but, whoa! What, what did you do? I think that was my head. Uh, <laughs> you got a tough head. <laughs> Apparently. Rock solid. Um, well, of, we've got... Uh, Brains. Heavy brains. Heavy brains are smart brains, right? Um, we got fuel. Yeah. And we've got some materials. Yeah, but we are distinctly lacking on the cargo front. Um, like, we filled all our cargo space, so... I'm not sure... Oh, actually, what if what if I just drop off the thing that I've landing like that I've locked to the top of my rover, top of the dongoose, just park it on the ground here near what we've got, and then you can hop in the um, turret seat and just be there while we drive. So, are you able to control that turret now? Yep. <laughs> How's it feel being on there while we're moving? Come back? Uh, it's a bit wibbly. Oh. Ah. Now you look threatening. Yeah. All right. I've switched off red alert. 1.4k's out. Yeah, yeah. And sand in your teeth? Oh, I got a twig in my teeth. Drove us right through a tumbleweed. Is that better or worse than sand? You're trying to make your teeth white by sandblasting them. It's the new teeth whitening craze. Mm, sounds fairly destructive. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. SCV Settler Shed. Oh, there's more of those canisters. Yeah, let's collect them. We're on cleanup duty now. Same deal as the other one. Nothing we can did, do. Did you say you saw a shed or something? Yeah, I saw an SCV shed. But that SCV, like the scavs, they seem to be not friendly, so... Thoughts on how we approach that? Do we approach that? Well, we checked out the other shed. Alright. Your logic is impeccable. I mean, I try. <laughs> I swear I saw another thing come up. There it is. We, already... we haven't travelled that far yet, have we? Can you see anything up there? Up where? Where the target is? Yeah, there looks like there's something... Oh. Wow. It's really hard to reverse with this trailer. Uh, it looks like another little shed like that other one we found. Okay. Anything hostile that you can see from this angle? No. This looks like a building. Oh, yeah, I can just see a turbine, that's it. Just thought I'd piggyback your camera. Okay, I'm moving closer. Shall I stay on this side of the hill? Sure. 
Uh, just watch out, it's a bit rough. Yep. I'm gonna go down into the valley and then I'll climb back up, I think. Ooh. Is that all with the boulder, or...? Bit of a rough ride. Sand River. Okay, it's a lot further from here than I thought. Uh, I wonder if I turn the lights off on the fuel truck. Can't really make out anything from this distance. Oh, it's over there. Yeah. Miles away. I thought we were closer. We're just inside one click of it. I don't see anything. Should I go down into the... Should we pass down into the valley and then park just downhill of where that cliffside is? Sure. Uh, then... You do that, I will approach on foot. Oh. I really wish you were on the turret right now. I mean, I don't see any vehicles or anything. No, I just see that one little building. Alright, I'm going to park here. You caught up yet? Almost. Can you see a turbine? Is it... Is that a... No, there's no door. There's some windows. Jeez, you ran in quick. Oh wait, this yeah. is very much like that hut we found before. It's even like a yeah. little greenhouse outside. Must be some kind of prefab building. Yeah. Um. Anything in these lockers outside before we break through the door? Uh. Another fancy drill. Go ahead. Got some space credits. I'll pick up the welder just in case. Got some ammo and a rifle. Uh, something saying get it done is in there? Yeah. What's that say? I don't care what excuses you have, Big Devil needs that fruit quota bet. One way or the other, you get my drift. Better get back to work. Damn clunkers. Damn clunker has gotten into my shed again last night. Stuff's gone missing again. Ain't it hard enough already without some sneak thief taking something they didn't even work for? They were shooting this afternoon. Maybe the boys were in the neighborhood. Damn clunker thieves. Oh great, so the scavs aren't bad enough. Now we got clunkers. Are they like clinkers? You know those lollies that are kind of like hard and you... Clunker sounds like a robot. It does, doesn't it? Uh oh. Uh, can you see that buggy beacon? And Those buggy beacons? Oh boy. Uh, I'm getting on the gun. Uh, should we head back to the fuel? She's at the diner. Get her. Movement spotted at the junkyard. Might be leaders. What? Got her. What? Oh dear. Oh dear. Gonna roll Capac. Don't want to roll Capac. Uh. Might be another, might be another team was sent down in the drop pods. Uh, Maybe they've been captured. So what are you telling me to do right now? I don't know, we could go try to rescue them. Alright, is that these buggy beacons? You think that's where I it's coming so. from? So I don't think we can do anything about the shunned panther or the complicated mule. Or I think we could handle a little buggy. <gasps> oh, <bag. laughs> oh! Oh! I really would like a gyroscope right oh. now. Oh, there goes a tree. Yeah, that'll happen. 
Uh, I take it we're not going back for our fuel truck then. Uh, probably. I mean, we will, just. Not yet. Hmm? How does that feel when you're controlling it when you get flipped around like that? It's, um, interesting. <laughs> pretty far away. I don't know if we're going to get there in time. You're telling me to go faster. In like 45 meters a second is plenty fast enough. But, I mean, we know that something's there. They said something about a diner. And you know what that means? Donuts? I was going to say sandwiches, but sure. I wouldn't say no to a donut. Sounds like there's a fight going on. Yeah. Or maybe we do want to get there quickly. Or do we? Do we really want to get there while they're still fighting? Wouldn't we rather just pick the remains? Yeah, I mean, we should try to help people if we can. <gasps> well, maybe we should help ourselves first. <laughs> uh, remember, if there is a fight going on, you want to swing wide. Yeah, so I know. Having to aim down the barrel of the hole. No, I kind of want to... Um, Whoa! I'd kind of like to switch this around, have the crane on the trailer, and have you turret, being a turret on the front of the truck. Don't you think? Oh, there's another sh settler shed over here. Oh. Uh, are we getting distracted? Or are we continuing? Yeah, we won't worry about that right now. Okay. Oh wait, it sounds like it might be the person they're attacking that sent the signal! Oh no! Oh! 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 <laughs> oh, you're fishtailing back there! Arr. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Did we oh. lose something? No, I don't think so. I thought I heard something snap off. No, no, no just... Ugh. Oof. We're almost there. <laughs> we almost weren't. What the? Very briefly picked up a green signal. Uh, oh. East southeast. Uh, rough distance. Eight hundred meters. Oh. 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 Oh! I see it. I see it. We are getting distracted by this, right? If uh, uh, we'll do a quick drive by. Yeah. Looks like it's glowing. What the? Is it blinking? Something over there too. Special content power. Oh. Yep, that's definitely some kind of unknown signal. Yep. All right, ignore it. Drive. Now I know in signal. Oh, they're on the other side of that ridge. Yep. You ready? Yep. Oh, I don't I don't have a good angle though. I know, I know. Whoa! Return fire! Like Why are you shooting upward? Because I can't drop the guns any lower. What? Why not? You just Okay, we gotta fix the gun. Oh, this is not good. Oh, hold on. I got what? it. Okay, you ready again? Whoa! Hold it. Whoa. <laughs> oh no, 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 Uh, uh, can you just hold position there, Capac? Just watch them while I try and flip this thing. Okay. They might think they've done us in, so we might have some time.
Can I make you vote? Not want to look. And I'm scouting out the enemy position. Okay. They almost. Get back in your turret. Get it back in your turret. Come back. Hop back in your turret. I'm, I'm done. I'm. I'm trying to be covert ops over here. Where are you? I've I've got the turret effective again. I'm up behind. I'm coming up behind you. Are you gonna try to side swipe them with the crane? <laughs> I wasn't, but I didn't want to waste time setting the crane back in a neutral position. You in control I'm, again? I'm in control. All right, I'm gonna swing around the, so you'll be aiming out the other side. Go go go! Oh, crap, I hit something! You running out of ammo? It's hard to see. Did you hit the broad side of a barn? I don't have a crosshair. Use the camera. I'm using the camera. Oh. Oh. Stuff this. I'm running one of them down. Got him. Ah, uh, no, I sort of have him. He's he's trapped with us. Uh oh. Hang on. Oh no, he. I think he's oh. down. Yep. I, I... Whoa. Okay, he's gone. You leave anything good? Uh, I saw him drop something. Uh, he had a handgun. Oh. Possible target of interest? And a book of Oh, it's got some GPSs. Uh, you grab those. Let's, oh, let's go in on foot. Alright, I'm gonna swing up onto the hill. Try and flank him. Oh, why did you allow him to your position? Uh, because I hit him. <laughs> That's why. Got one. Got another. There's more of these canisters. Oh, this guy was carrying a med kit. That could come in handy. Oh. I got a dead guy in the diner. I think it might have been that person they were after. Oh, no. We were too late. Uh, I think that's... I think that's clear, though. Uh, there's another target locations. There's oh, more of these engineer. canisters. Man, these guys have some pretty wild rigs. Oh yeah. These are some interesting vehicles. Uh, which one's the most valuable? Probably this one, it's got a big battery on it. Big battery, some engines. Inventory full. Uh, who's only a three wheeler though? Inventory full. Hold up. I have no idea. Uh, remember we 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 were here for cargo. 
I know the battery's valuable, but the cargo is just as valuable. Uh, this one's got a pair. No, it's got three. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh, no, wait. It's got two. Two? Three? Four? Seven? Nine? Um. Three. Okay, Spencer has lost his mind. Alright, well, I'm taking this one because it's cool. Okay. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I have a plan. Also, we probably want to turn off these beacons in our first convenience. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make a GPS for this diner, too. Oh, good call. Alright, come back. Check this out. Huh? I'm bringing both the buggies. Okay. Raven, hi. I'm back at the rover. I made a makeshift hitch. Something's damaged on one of these, though. It's throwing out a lot of smoke. What you doing? See some grinding and welding going on. Yeah, just so I can control things. Uh, well, I was thinking if you use if you use the crane to pick up the uh, the trike over here, or I'm gonna try wait. and pick up the bigger thing because it's really awkward to drive in yeah in that layout. But if I can't, then yeah, the trike's gonna be the way to go. It's locked. Fuel low. Whoa. <laughs> Fuel critical. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, that was an accident. My jetpack ran out of fuel, basically. So I didn't mean to do that. Now bring us around town. Watching the suspension shift as I do this is slightly nerve-wracking. Okay, uh, maybe a little bit more. Uh, okay. Oh man, I can't believe I'm going to drive with this. After I've already rolled this truck. Uh, are we going to need to take the wheels off? Uh, why? Because I think they're going to get in the way of Wait. Uh, it's locked onto the wheel. Oh, uh, oh, unlock that. Told you so. Uh, and turn off auto lock on it as well. Alright, uh, let's drive slowly. What? Oh. Are you driving? Are we going back? It's not locked to anything. It's locked to the crane. Well, okay. All right, all right. I think actually no. I see what you're getting at. I see what you're getting at. Um. How's that look? That's good, but it's too high for the for the lock. Uh, should we modify the lock position? Uh, actually, if you... Oh, oh no, I'm about to run out of fuels. Yeah. Um, we may just have to you... travel like this. No, no, if you raise it up a little bit, we could just build a couple of armor blocks in there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Alright, I'll raise it up. Uh, also, I'm stuck. Good job. I guess you could do it that way. What were you thinking? I was going to make a little boom off the vehicle so that it could connect to the pad that was already there, but that's fine. Oh. <laughs> Just watch it for me if you could. Uh, alrighty. Whoa. It is locked. Okay. Can you unlock the crane? You don't have any... Oh, you do have enough jetpack to get there. You know you can refuel with the survival kit. We can? 
Oh, we... Yeah, we've got those... Oh, I forgot we had that on board. Alright, uh, do you want the... GPS for the parking area? I made one. Okay. You're gonna need to go real slow for me to keep up, because there is no way I should be driving fast with this. I say scout. driving at 30 meters a second. Yeah, might want to be careful at the top of the ridge. Don't want to go too fast. Watch out for enraged cougars. Huh? Oh, this thing is very weird to drive. Your thing is weird to drive. I have hey. more visibility due to lighting that goes up toward the sky than I do in front of my truck. At least you got an even number of wheels. Do I though? Yeah, I do. And even if you count the ones on top, you still got an even number of wheels. No, I, I counted them. I actually counted them. So I'm taking it that we're possibly not going to be, um, seeing too much more of you driving in the three-wheeler? Uh, I don't think I want to drive it long term, no. I'm thinking we need to set up something like, you know, those old school caravans that, or like big RVs that had like a little, tiny little four-wheel drive thing stuck off the back. I think we need to get around with something like that. So we've, we've got our big trucks, which is in your case the big truck, and in my case the crane truck. And then we get around on our little we have our little rovers which we can carry around so we can scout from anywhere with something that's not got all our stuff. Well, we should be able to piece together a couple little buggies from the bits that we got here. Yeah, I'm just thinking about how to attach it to the Dongoose. I feel like moving the turret around on the Dongoose is just beyond difficult, so I'm not going to do that. But I wonder if I, if I could make something small enough yet still useful enough that I could stick it on top of the dongoose when we're moving. I guess we could put a couple of docking stations for buggies on the, um... Oh yeah, I could lift them up to the back. We could put up a couple of... Um, connectors on the back of your... Like, where we put the, um... Cargo containers. Oh yeah. And we could... I could use the crane to lift them up into that position so they're there and they don't affect your driving in any meaningful way. But they're, um... They're easy for us to deploy. Also, what are you going to call that tanker? It needs a name. I'm sticking, sticking crawling at the tanker. Uh, tanky McTank face. Uh, how far are you from the from Tanky McTank face? Uh, four point eight. How did I get ahead of you? Yeah, I've been taking a somewhat serpentine route. Where are you though? I'm um, about two and a half k's out from it. Oh wow. I figured with the way these buggy buggies were stuck to the roof, at least if I rolled they were going to hit first and perhaps stop us from rolling the whole way over. Well, might as well go at full speed then. <laughs> no, we haven't fully investigated what's in them. Jeez, can you imagine this from the perspective of the guys that were at that diner? They or their friends when they go uh, go to look at them and they turn up and there's they find their friends but all their vehicles have just completely vanished <laughs> not a trace not even tracks of where they went uh. it's like the single set of footsteps in the sand except taken in a really weird direction Whoa. also this might be too heavy for me to get up this hill that's right, I'll give you a push. Please don't. Ramming speed! Oh boy. I see him coming too. Leave me be! I need to get up the hill on my own power. I don't want your ramming speed. So this is a really steep hill. That I did not appreciate as we were driving up the first time. Alright, was there anything in any of those? First, I think first step is let's check those 
data pads to see what there was because I have no idea what we've actually found and then we want to check through these things and take inventory of what we've got. Fuel low. Uh... Alright, so I have a data pad called Target Locations. I've been pulling uh, together what map reference points I can from the crashed navsat that I found on the dunes, mostly collapsed buildings and empty waypoints. Now the data is going corrupt as my suit keeps failing and rebooting itself. These are all that I managed to record before my suit gave up for good. And then it's got four targets? Yeah. I think I've got that same data pad. Okay, does that create four GPSs for us? Or just one? Oh, yeah. all four. Target one, two, three, four. All right, I'm going to turn off some of my other GPSs so I'm not as confused. Let's uh, turn off Ice Ice Baby one, and give me fuel, give me 30 fire. 30 kilometers. Two, 14 kilometers. Target three, 7.8. Target four, 27.2. All right, so that's Target something. three is pretty close, eight kilometers. Yeah. Then I've got another one. Possible target of interest. Are these the same... Oh no, unknown one and unknown two. Uh, can you share those to me? That'd be useful. Uh, unknown one? Whoa! Unknown one is... 3,800 kilometers away. You what? Um, <laughs> that's what it says. Uh, but unknown two... Well, it did say it was getting data corruption. Unknown yeah. 2 is the same as target 4. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Uh, did you find anything else on... What is that buggy called? Uh, the, the thingy majiggy. You're doing a really great job with the names today, aren't you? Uh, ice station. Giovanni has gone silent. I expect he's been exposed. Took him forever to infiltrate the scavs. And for what? Some vague lead on an ice mining station. Told him not to press too hard. I'm afraid they've gotten rid of him. Another one from Renner, who was the one who did these GPSs. Okay. And is now dead. Apparently. I wonder if Renner was that the person at the diner. Alright, we got to figure out... Um... Yeah, it's empty. So that's all the GPSs you found? Oh, like all the data pad yep. things you found? I didn't find any others in these two trucks. Um, so what are we going to do with all this stuff? Well... <laughs> like, are we going to fully rearrange these things into... Like, to keep all our cargo where we want it? Or are we going to keep some... I don't know what to do. I'm lost. Um, yeah, because we can't... Like, anything that we can't break down, we've got to somehow bring with us. Yeah. Okay, first off, let's let's think about this a different way. You've got your big truck. It's less mobile, it doesn't have a gun, so it's a bit more vulnerable. It's also got our fuel. Yep. Should we be considering getting a survival kit on there? Can we build a survival kit? No, we can't. Should we move the survival kit off the Dongoose onto that truck? Um, That's kind of... That would be possible. Would it be better, or is it better on the Dongoose? I think it's probably better on the... the Dongoose. Because if anything happens... To us, then the Dongoose is probably going to be nearby. Yeah. That's always the challenge with things like survival kits and med bays. You want them close, but you don't want them in danger. Blown up. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Should we... Should we try and merge those tanks onto the main grid of your truck? So that they're a combined grid, so that we can start setting up some piping and stuff between 
The, the little hydrogen and stuff. tanks. Well, oh no, I mean the big hydrogen tanks. Oh, what are you going to do with them? So, at the moment they're a separate grid, right? Because they're connected with rotors. Yeah, yeah. So if we pick it up and then put some merge blocks or use the weld pads and stick it back down to the tray so it's actually stuck to the tray, then we can combine the inventories of those and bring them right through Fuel, and put yeah. like up front here put more cargo containers Fuel, like more Fuel, of the medium cargo critical. containers we can take off the rovers we could put on the front here uh i don't know that that really helps us all that much well i'm just thinking of trying to combine our inventory into something that's more accessible and more useful i think that's I think that stuff that can wait. I think dealing with this horrible dongle hanging off the back is probably Well, that was sort important. of part of it. It's because if we do that, if we lock this down first, then we know exactly where things are going to be and where we're going to lock stuff to. Uh, but I guess the other option we've got, if you hop up here... Oh, uh, okay. I think I've got an idea. Okay. Uh, do you want to tell me your idea first, or should I tell you mine, mine first? Uh, oh, this, this has... Hmm. Your truck has even symmetry which is not as pain. annoying as it sounds uh it is if your idea is to make a trailer for it oh no 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 my idea is not to make a trailer for it so if that you is... hop up here look in the middle so i'm pretty sure my suit still lets me build conveyors which it does so if we build a conveyor line between those two medium hydrogen tanks with junctions in the middle. We can yeah. then put the tanks off the the little tanks off those junctions. For now. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And we can kind of rip up the roof to be able to drop them in further as we go along. Yep. Uh, then all of our hydrogen is in one place. But the next thing we need to figure out is how we're going to get fuel from this truck onto the Dongoose. Okay. Because we will want to put some of these tanks on the Dongoose. It's just, I figured we can put some of them in here for now. I kind of want to rearrange a bit of the Dongoose. It's really awkwardly done for doing stuff, but then also I kind of like that it's really awkward and weird. So I'm torn. Uh, okay, all right. I've got an idea for how we could do a refueling connector that could work for multiple things. Okay. I'm listening. Uh, we can make hinges, right? Yes. So, we can make like a double, a double hinge coming off one of these cargo containers with a connector on the end. And then you can adjust that to whatever level you need for the yep. connector. Yep. And it can connect to pretty much anything. Yep, so, I think that's a good call. I'll start working on that. Why not? Uh, I'm going to get these rovers off and I'm going to start thinking about how I want to rearrange stuff on the Dongoose so that it can be more effective in its current role. Alright, I've got a multi-height refueling trunk. <laughs> it's your refueling tail. Nice. I have an idea of how we could do a little control panel to easily control that from on the ground too. Oh, uh, yeah. Because the hinges, want, you want them to move at exactly the same velocity. You can just have a reverse on-off button. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. For, that controls both of them. That makes sense. So, what's your plan with these buggies? I don't have one. I brought them because I want to make a buggy that I can use, that we can use to scout from the, like... Uh, so, I kind of want to make a buggy that's small enough that I can put it on top of the dongoose or on the back of your truck All right. but ideally on top of the dongoose so we can carry it with us and then if we're in a situation where we want to go in and check out something but don't want to bring the dongoose too much closer we can use that well, so we can offload if I, it if I put some normal wheels on the back of the, the trike instead of the big trike wheel it'd be a pretty compact buggy yeah I mean, you'd lose all of its soul, but you could do that. Yeah, but it, dr it drifts to the right <laughs> when you're driving. 
Just stirring, just stirring. Show you soul. Uh, one thing to note is don't grind down a single gyroscope. Okay. We can't make them. Our suits have lost that. Okay. There you go, Kavak. Check it out. What do you think is what do you think of your trunk snout thing now? Fuel critical. Uh oh yep. Also, would you stop painting in grey? It's really obvious. What the That actually was what you're talking about, weren't it? Yes. <laughs> we had a whole conversation about Hi. this before. Shut up! Pick a different colour. If you toggle it off in the right position, it'll hold it. So oh. we could actually use that as a vehicle lift if you want your vehicle attached to that. Oh, yeah. Because you could attach it, and then turn it on, lift it oh. all the way up. I'm going to keep it level, too. Yeah. All right, Don Goose. What am I going to do with you? Survival Kit's in a terrible location now that we've got more stuff. I don't know how I'm going to get it out without destroying it. Ooh. Just had an idea. Uh, do we have any batteries I can steal and stick onto the dongos at the front? Well, there's these new buggies that have a bunch of batteries. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is... If I attach the battery to the front, I can then detach this whole long section of stuff and move it three blocks off to the side so it's not in the center anymore, it's off to one side. Which will then put the survival kit in a much more accessible position. And then I can move okay. those batteries to somewhere else. Because the survival kit's really awkward where it is, isn't it? Oh, well, this doesn't half look silly, does it? Huh? Look what I just stuck to the crane. The control thing? Yeah. Actually looks kind of cool. Oh yeah, this is going to be so much quicker to use. <laughs> now we can get Trixie. How's your little rabbit coming together? Yep, it's almost ready to go. It's a three-seater? For some reason? Huh? Uh, yeah. On the side. Yeah, because I didn't have a battery to put there, so I thought, oh, I'll put a little extra seat in case, in case we need it. Uh, did you want to put, like, a little top-mounted rotor turret on there? Even if it's manually reloaded. Uh, maybe. Because then from the second seat I can control that since you said you found stuff the, so that we could build another one. Rather than having this gun on the front, then we've got a bit more control. Because the gun uh, on the front's manually loaded as well. We could just build a regular Gatling turret. Yeah, they're just a bit big. And we can double gun it if you make a custom one. Uh, alright, I'll, I'll look into it. Does mean you'll have to lose your ladder though, which I can understand, from a CAPAC point of view, is an almost unacceptable compromise. But ladders are important. Yeah. Look at the core strength I'm showing off while using this crane. Check this out. I've been working out. Yep, that's some advanced level planking you're doing there. <laughs> oh, we can't even make small cargo containers. Nope. Our suits mm. are real messed up. Do you see any small cargo containers on any of the rovers? Like, if you really want one, we could try and get one in. Ooh. It just means the turret's going to be limited to whatever ammo the guns can hold. Which is reasonable like it's not a small amount if we're in any engagements long enough to run out of ammo on it we're in trouble I would imagine regardless of the ammunition capacity 
mystery figure found dead in a cafe with multiple targets for us to investigate. What will we do next? Probably nothing that helps us figure out what the answer is. <laughs> so there's all that and plenty more to come and we will see you then. Catch you next time, everybody.